everyone, this is David from goldstartool.com and I'm gonna show you a couple of things on the double needle sewing machine. We're working with the LS3528A. We have a quarter gauge space between the two needles and uh, I just made a video and I showed people that there is not really a lot of fit for this machine. This is used for a straight stitching machine. Obviously, I, as I said in the previous video, you could change the gauge on this one. Meaning this one could be quarter, three, eight, half, uh, five, 16, all the way up. Now, meaning that when you change the needle, you have to change obviously the, um, let me go forward. When we say we're gonna change the gauge, meaning changing the needle bar, changing the foot, because the foot has a hole that, that quarter changing the plate and changing the feet though. That's the gauge set. Now, while I was doing that video and I said people there is no other feet out there, meaning that there is, you can't do hemming and cording and all that, even though there is, but it's not something that is uh, common to do with this machine. Now, but what is common is having a, uh, uh, what we call a um, guide for right or the left side foot to, to know how much you're sewing from the side. Like this one is a quarter inch and you have a quarter inch here from the right with the guide, okay? And this one is the same thing with the left. So I'm gonna show you how to change the foot here. And then I'm gonna show you a very, very, very popular 14R finger guard or needle guard that we, that we just have in, we got them in, and we're gonna use it on the machine now. And I tell you what I'm using is something that you have to know that if you look at the shape of this feet, you see the shank, it's, what do you call it, vertical or it's like this way, vertical. You, vertical, right? It's this way. So you cannot, you could look at this and if you're looking for any type of fit, you gotta, you you know, work with this much. You can just buy a single needle foot or overlock foot or a cover stitch foot. These are the ones that you make. Okay, so all you have to do, there is a screw in the back that I already loosened it. Right here you could see, not a big deal. Take it all the way down and you, I have to get rid of the thread, obviously. Take it out. This is the regular foot that comes with it. I'm gonna use this guide, quarter inch guide foot. So you know when you're sewing, you quarter inch or maybe one eighth from the side, right? Putting this in the same way, just put it in. Like this, you see? You'll see that when you go in now. I wanna use a finger guard or a needle guard. So when I'm sewing, my finger will not go under the needles. There is an item called 14R, okay? Made for double needle, okay? and made for the double needle that ties from the back. And I never, I have not tried this, but I will try it today with you to see if this works for us. Where do I put the screw? Obviously, obviously I'm a, okay, right there. Take the screw, there is a hole here. Are we, people could see me? I think so. And put it through, tie it. This is would so, so, I mean, save your finger. It's something that is very important for you guys that if you're buying food that the original ones have this one, but this comes with the food. Meaning if you want to change the food, there is no uh, finger guard, right? But we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put this one. I'm gonna tie this 
and I'm going to tie it really good. How are you, Jasmine? Good, sir. How are you? Oh, great. Getting ready for holidays? Yes. Right? It's still warm. Yeah, here it's what? Today in LA is about 85 degrees? I think so. We are sweating. So this is the one to the right, and this is the one to the left. But I'm going to use the right one for you to see. So the way it works that if you want to go down, see? Edge guide foot. I was looking for that edge guide. So go up, come down. Oop, I knew it. Obviously I did not. Cut yeah, I mean, I cut too, um, uh, but it's good. People could see now. So the way you're gonna do it, did I, what did I do with my, thank you so much. You know, it's good sometimes that this thing happens, so you know that this thing could happen. Meaning that people think that when you buy a brand new sewing machine, bam. People call me, hey, my thread broke. Yeah, it's okay. It happens. It happens. And we just have a, a new employee That's the one. We had somebody coming into our... Our door greeter. Uh, what do you call it? Door... Door greeter. Door greeter. Yeah. Uh, it's very nice. Usually it's very quiet. But uh, sometimes, if, even if you see a fly in there, it, the problem is going to... everyone. Yeah. She greets everyone, even a fly. So... This... I'm gonna put the thread in. I am trying. I have my glasses on. And somebody showed me a trick. He told me to go down from the side. Uh, you know, there is a slit on the thread. He told me to go ahead and instead of just Buy it on Amazon. Have your own door greeter. Have your own door. Maybe I need to get Stella. My eyes are not working really. All my glasses are not updated because I can't see anything. I don't know where I'm going with this, but. to my eyes as soon as you want to start and this is the only one we have to do two we don't have any thread there yeah give me the phone and just uh, uh, we're gonna we should have a needle threader yes meanwhile I'm gonna show you all this beautiful thread that you could use on that machine. These are called T60 nylon thread. But, look at this. All colors bonded. These are, well, I'm gonna start from here. These are T60 bonded. All of these ones. And then it's T138 bonded. And then here is 207 bonded. Right, here is all the thread that you could use on machine. Plus, look, any type of thread that you ever want. People call in and want to know if you have threads. These are the thread that we have, plus all the accessories. And Jasmine is trying to thread the needle. You did it? No. I'll do it, come here. So we're gonna use one of these. Boop. You could turn, here you go. Uh, 
All right, so I'm gonna use one of these, right? All you have to do, put it in here. This gotta work, this, see, come in. And are you closing in so they know? Yes. We, sh we should have one of these. Now. We have a kit. Jasmine is very good. She prepares everything for me. She's my project manager here. And you, oh, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Beautiful. That's what I'm talking about. We gotta be prepared here. Everybody needs one of these. Everybody needs 10 of these. But you see, still, my eyes, oh my goodness. It's not funny. I'm not that old. Hello, welcome. Okay. Here's the other one. And then this one, hopefully I could put it through that big hole, yes. Put it right in the middle. And phones are ringing because we have a very good customer service and people are calling in to see what we're doing. Uh, by the way, we're getting... Woo! All right, so I did it. I'm gonna cut a little bit. Usually before I start, I like to hold this a little bit and Here we go. That's what I mean, a stitch guide or edge guide. Look, beautiful. Got that? Okay, I'm gonna do here. So by the way, Something that you have to know that when this thing is coming out, you see, your finger cannot go in there. That was the whole idea of showing you the, um, the finger card. And this one is not hitting this. This is universal, by the way. It's not only made by Juki. Console, Singer, Kansai Special, any double needle. That, the screws from back there, uh, it is recommended to have... My thread came out again. My thread came out again. This could be other thread, I don't know. But here, just to show you also, this machine does not have a bobbin case. It's a drop-in bobbin, you see? Let me see, maybe. See, sometimes things happen and people call in. The thread gets stuck and the other thread, here you go, see, I just do that. When you wanna throw in the thread, you just go ahead, drop it in, lock. There is a slit right there, you see that? And then you put it through right there. Gotta go down there. Some, sometimes people have a better way of doing things. I'm not a sewer, but I just do videos. If you guys have any better way of doing things, you could always welcome to, I mean, and people do. The comment, write on comment down there, and you know, it's a big, you know, sewing community is unbelievable. So we would love to see how you guys do different things. Just go ahead and write a comment. And um, we, that one right there. And we'll go ahead and, um, um, but I think on this video, people got the idea of maybe, people got the idea of how this thing works. This is a, edge guide foot from the side, and this is a finger guard that is very important. If you have a factory and have a lot, even at home, you ma it's a must have. 
So um, that's it, I think, from us right here. I have a lot of information now. Uh, thank you for watching. Ed Guide Food, the, um, the Finger Guard, 14R, and this is, by the way, 570R to the right and 570L to the left. Again, these come different sizes. This is quarter inch because the machine is quarter inch gauge. If you go 3.8, you have to buy this in 3.8. If you go half, 5.16, that's how you go. I'm gonna try to go ahead and thread this out, put the machine the same way it was and ship it to a customer. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful, wonderful- Golden day. Golden day, thank you for watching.